Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. Hello, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I'm Tupperware Pete, and yes, it is a little bit warm here in South East Queensland. 35 degrees, thank you very much, at like 7pm on a Friday night. <gasps> Friday night and the lights are low. Hello. All right. It's too hot to cook. <laughs> I put my foot down. Have you ever had those nights? I'm not cooking. Get your own. You go, no. We, like we want to save money on the budget. We don't want takeaway. We want to be look after ourselves and get healthy, right? So what are we going to do? I know what we're going to do. We are going to do minimal effort. Thank you, Tupperware. Because the Tupperware products make things very easy in the kitchen. And we're still going to be able to look after ourselves healthily and eat well. And we're going <laughs> to... You know what I say? <laughs> you can eat the rainbow. Eat the rainbow. Eat the rainbow too. Yes, we're going to eat the rainbow. I'm going to... We're going to do our own little Subway salad bar at home and I'm going to show you how I prep everything, all right? But while we do that, I've got some. I went to the butcher and normally I take my clean mates to the butcher, but um, I was out and about and I thought, last minute, let's go to the butcher. I've just got in my Tupperware Micro Pro Grill, you know, this is the barbecue that goes into the microwave. So everything you do in the toaster, on the sandwich press, under the grill, in the barbecue, in the oven... This thing will do in the microwave. It is so easy. I've got five, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five chicken tenderloins, literally. Just five chicken tenderloins, right? Just going to pop them into there. Because remember, anything you do on the stovetop, under the grill, in the oven, in the sandwich press, on the toaster, this thing will do it in the microwave at a fraction of the time and a fraction of the price, because a microwave only takes for like three cents a day to run. There's my five chicken tenders, right? How easy is that? We're gonna pop that into the grill position for three minutes. Now let me just <laughs> rinse my hands. Rinse, rinse, baby. Feeling hot, hot, hot. <laughs> Feeling hot, hot, hot. All right, yes, we are. Okay, so. On a clear mate, you can see the freshness. All right, so these here, these are the clear mates, right? Now, you know the saying, if it's round, make a sound. If it's square, don't you dare. Never take the air out of a square. If it's square, leave it there, right? So back in the day, our grandmas and mums and aunties all taught us to burp your Tupperware. Do the polite burp. Express the air. <laughs> Don't go for second best, baby. Put your love to the express. <laughs> Push down in the middle. Lift up that little tab. Express the air out of there. Now that becomes a liquid tight and an airtight seal. And it's because, can you see here? Hopefully this is clean. I do use my Tupperware. Hopefully it's because, see you've got the inside seal and there's an outside seal and they've reinvented it. So in the corners... They've removed the inside seal. That's going to help protect the life of the seal, but also it's going to help grip onto it when you express the air out of there. So you can keep beetroot in there, pop it in the drinks esky. Your beetroot juice isn't going to get into your drinks esky. Your drinks esky isn't going to get into your shredded lettuce, right? How awesome is that? There, I'm going to show you how I prep everything. All right, so we've got a number of mandolins. A lot of people have been asking me about the mandolins lately. There's three different sizes. Um, I'm going to showcase the middle size at the moment. All right. So this is the mandolin here. Underneath here, you've got, you've got your three different sizes. So you've got, you can close that off, right? You can move that up one and that's going to, can you see here? See, it's going to just give us a little tiny slice. You can move it down. Oh, where are we? <laughs> Can you see there's the big slice, there's a little slice, there's the next one, and then that closes everything off, right? So can you see that? All right, there is the guard, right? So there's your, you pop that over your onion, tomato, cucumber, radish, whatever it is that you're going to slice, all right? What I've got happening in here, let's grab a, we'll grab our flexible cutting mat, and we will grab a Tupperware knife, and I will just give this a wipe. I... I use the Tupperware knives in my kitchen all the time. There's always one on the go, right? So all I'm gonna do is, this is my jalapeno pepper. I'm just gonna slice the top off that. I am literally now, I've got that on there. 
and I'm going to do this really thinly. There, like most of the Tupperware has all the instructions on the bottom here, so if you get stuck, it's all fairly self-explanatory though. And just give me a like and a follow or subscribe, and then that way you've got me if you ever need me for anything. Alright, so we're just going to... One. We'll do that on the first one. So literally all we're doing is... Oh, <laughs> hang on, that might be a bit long. <laughs> It's a chilli, so I don't want to touch it. All right, there we go. Seeds and all. So can you see? There are our jalapenos. Oh, I just inhaled some from my mouth. I can tell you they're fresh. <laughs> so you grab your little clear, mate. How awesome. These are great for half a lemon, half a lime, half an orange, half a banana, or sliced up jalapenos. We're just going to slice that straight into there. Actually, we'll use this as a... See how you can use the edge of this as your bench scraper? So you're not blunting the blade, you're actually protecting the blade and you're protecting the surface that you're running that from. Here we've got that other little jalapeno. Let's just pop that straight onto there and we will slice this off. Awesome! There's some more thinly sliced. I don't mind the seeds. The jalapenos are quite mild. Um, if you are really sensitive to the chilli, just remove all of the seeds first. Okay, so there's our chilli, uh, jalapeno. Then what we've got to do in here, I've got, I did go shopping, I got some sprouts. I love some sprouts. You want to look after yourself. You still want to be healthy and have some good stuff. And, you know, I don't think we eat enough salad or fresh food. So there's my sprouts. I'm just going to pop them straight into a clear mate. I'm going to seal that, and in my fridge, that's going to last anywhere between 10 and 14 days. Now, how long, how long would, do you think that would last in the punnet? Three days, four days, if you're lucky? I can come back in 10 days' time, and I've still got fresh sprouts, all right? So there's my fresh sprouts. How awesome is that? Then what I've got in here, I've got, there's a kilo block of cheese. Now, if I wanted to, I could um, grate that off or pop it into the supersonic chopper. I'm going to leave that at the moment. I... I'm going to, while I think of it, let me just, oh, was that, oh yeah, that's done. We've got a lettuce. So what I've got in here, I've got my lettuce and I'm literally just going to, a lettuce will last a lot longer with the core gone and if you use, there we go, so we've got that, I've just got the, the core of this. And I'm, all I'm going to do now is just slightly shred this up. This is my entire lettuce. That's going to be my lettuce for the week. Whether I'm going to make a salad or I'm going to do salad wraps um, or whatever it is that I'm going to do, that's now prepped. There is my... How awesome is that? I've got this in here. I'm going to have my shredded lettuce straight up into there. Excuse fingers. I live alone. It's okay. <laughs> so there's our shredded lettuce. If I wanted to, I could fill that with water um, and that will also help last for a lot longer as well. But I'm not going to bother with that because I'm going to eat that within the week. Not a problem. All right. So there's my lettuce. There's my sprouts. What I've got in here. I've got some tomatoes. I'm just going to literally pop that down into there. Now, I might do... Oh, yeah. We'll do them as a thin one. So, oh. Let's do it this way. Actually, you know what I'll show you? You know the Tupperware apple corer? You know the apple corer? It's great for coring apples, but it's also really good for getting the tops of your tomatoes out. And see how the top here, it's slightly crimped? I don't know if you can see that. You can just literally, instead of coring an apple or a pear, you can just do that. That gets the top of your tomato gone. All in one action. How easy is that, right? So we've just got our sliced tomatoes. We'll prep up our... So, you know, if you're having a barbecue or you're doing something outdoors or you're um, making a salad, then this is ideal for your tomatoes. Let's remove the, top, the apple core again. There we go. And we will literally... We'll pop this straight into here. We'll grab our skewed fingers. How awesome is that? There's our two tomatoes. We've got sliced tomatoes into there. We'll pop that into there. 
Now we've got our Subway salad bar, whether we're making our own hamburgers, our own salad wraps, whether you're doing your own um, pizzas and things, you could do your pizza toppings in here, too easy, all right? Then we've got a cucumber, a Lebanese cucumber. Let's just pop this in half, and again, we're just going to quickly prep this. This is all of our salad for the week. Have you ever, it's been hot, having a heat wave, and you go, oh, we should be healthy and have a salad, you go... Oh, I couldn't be bothered prepping. If you just do all of this prep work now, you've got your entire salad for the week all organised and you're prepping. It's like you're prepping seven meals all at the same time because it's in the Tupperware. It's literally going to last three to five times longer in your cleanmates containers. All right? There's our, there's our cucumber. How awesome is that? Now, what else have we got happening in here? We've got, oh, let's get some radish. We'll just get that happening. I've got a few, I've got a few radishes in here. So we will, let's just get rid of those furry bits. Don't like the fur. Not on the radish, that's for sure. Remove that entirely. Okay, so we've got that happening there. And we've got, and away we go. All right, there's our three radish. See how easy it is when you're prepping? So there is my sliced radish. We'll pop that in there. Bit of tomato in there, but that's okay. <laughs> you get the idea, right? There's my sliced radish. There's a bit of tomato, a stray tomato in there. So now, can you see? If I had, I don't have carrots. Otherwise, I would have shown you some carrots. I'm like, how can I not have carrots? So there you've got your lettuce. You've got your, um, what have we got in this one? Sliced tomato in this one. We've got sliced radish. We've got our cucumber sprouts and jalapeno pepper. We've got our block cheese into there as well. And we've all done it in that one there. It's the mandolin. There's quite a few different mandolins that are available. If I wanted to, I can now... Grab, you know your serving centre? If I wanted to, I could now just pop all of my different salads around in here. I can make up my own dip or mayonnaise in here. Anything that you make up in your supersonic chopper. Let's say I wanted to make like a chunky pumpkin dip or a sweet potato and cashew dip or an olive tepanade. I can just pop everything in there. Top, pull the cord, mix that up. That is now going to fit perfectly straight into there. I've got my dip or my mayonnaise or my sauces in there. I've got all of my fillings. And then what I can do is let me entertain you. And we'll have a real good time. Yes, we will. You know, when you're doing those entertain, you, you want to entertain, have people over. You don't want to put in much effort because of the heat. Tupperware makes it easy. Here we've got, I've got my wraps. We just pop them straight into there. We'll serve them. We've got all of our salad filling straight into here. Whatever's left over, literally, we just pop straight back into our clear mates. There's our Subway salad bar happening for the rest of the week. We can just serve that with a piece of protein. Oh, Tupperware down with a piece of protein like... Five chicken tenders that took three minutes in the microwave oven. Thank you very much, right? So all you have to do now is you just grab your, you grab your wrap, grab a chicken tender, pop that on there, pop your salads in there, wrap that up, a little bit of cheese. If you want to roll it up and pop it back into the micropro grill to toast, you can do that. I'm going to eat this right now. I'm going to hop online. I'm going to take all of your questions and suggestions. Feel free to give me a like and a follow. Share this video with whoever you think might be interested. Um, I'll upload it onto my YouTube channel. And remember, until I see you next time, you know what you have to do, don't you? Everybody sing along. Forget your troubles and get happy. Dance your cares away. Shout out and get happy. I'll see you all another day. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The one hand is straight.